Now, a puppet parade is meant to engage you. As the creator of the Magic Smelt Puppet Troupe, Jim Ure trains mask makers, stilt walkers, and imagineers of all sort, and he's here to fill us in on Duluth's first Magic Smelt Parade. Jim, welcome, welcome to the playlist. I think you got a great look there. You look smelt-like. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Hey, Karen. Hey, thank you so much for coming over. Yeah. You have made some fantastic puppets, and I know this Magic Smelt Troop. Now, is this truly the first Magic Smelt Parade in the city of Duluth? Yes, to yes. be sure. Yep. Uh, Magic Smelt did appear uh, in the All Souls Night back on November 2nd last year uh, near the depot, but it wasn't a smelt theme. It was El Dia de los Muertos, so it was a skeleton, you know, or kind of a, a funeral. So t tell me about this, guys, and I understand his, <coughs> his eyes are still um, wet, so I'll go easy on him. That's right. So this is one of our smelt clowns, and uh, it's sculpted in clay, and then a paper mache form is built over it, and then the paper mache form is removed uh, from the clay mold, and then we finish it off and, you know, rig it so that it's, it's wearable as a mask. And this is going to be one of the characters in our presentation of the smelt queen on Sunday. I think that's just fantastic. Now you've been working with um, different folks in town doing workshops and that's we have right. some video of that so you okay. can see kind of the different scales of the puppets you have. Mm -hmm. Some of them are human um, size that's and right. some of them are much bigger. That's right. Yeah, so um, a lot of times in this country when people think of puppets, they oftentimes think of uh, sock puppets or, um, uh, you know, Sesame Street type Muppets, uh, but we kind of stretch the definition of puppetry a bit and we treat the uh, mass characters as if they were big puppets. And then as you said, we have some larger puppets too that are quite a large scale. Um, <clears throat> uh, like there's a smelt queen uh, that's probably about 15 feet long that's going to be part of our uh, presentation and our parade on Sunday. Just fantastic, and, and teaching people to make these very cool masks right. has got to be kind of a challenge, but also, you, do you see the kid come out of him? Oh, completely, yeah, like when you wear a mask like this, I mean, your identity is concealed, so a lot of times people um, are able to be, you know, less inhibited uh, when they have a mask on, and I think that a good puppeteer oftentimes is a kind of a different personality type than a good actor. You know, an actor, of course, is kind of drawing attention to themselves and trying to convince you that they're something else. But when you put a mask on, you're automatically something else. Um, so a lot of people respond, you know, to mask performing that maybe wouldn't make good actors. Yeah. So yeah. you bring a, a wealth of, of experience. I mean, you've done puppets. I know you've been That's involved right. with the Grand Marais Solstice Parades. That's right. Um, you were here for the Day of the Dead Parade here. Yep. Um, but go back a little bit. How did you get hooked well, on this, and where do you come from as yep. a puppeteer? My background is within the Heart of the Beast Puppet and Mask Theater, and there's an event in Minneapolis. It's coming up on May 6th this year. It's the May Day Parade and Festival. And that's been going on, I think it's 36 or 37 years now. And I was a principal artist in terms of designing uh, parade floats and masks and images uh, with the May Day Parade in the 80s and 90s. And then more recently, for 13 years, we've been doing a summer solstice pageant up in Grand Marais. Uh, I own a cabin in Grand Marais, and I got to meet some artists in the area, and then somebody said, we would like to do something up here. So we've been doing a summer solstice pageant. It'll be the uh, Saturday closest to the summer solstice in June up in Grand Marais. So we do a big uh, pageant there. Uh, now I live in Duluth, and uh, this event on Sunday is really the first thing that we've kind of uh, conceived and, and are produced, you know, on our own. So this new outfit here in Duluth is called the Magic Smelt Puppet Troop. And will we get to see more than just a smelt a year? Will we oh, get to see oh, anything else? Oh, we, we expect to do more, yeah. Yeah, but for starters, uh, we hope that folks can come down to the aerial lift bridge at 4 o'clock, right behind the Maritime Visitor Center, and uh, participate in this parade. And I'd like to explain, if I may, um, how this parade differs from other mm -hmm. parades. A lot of times, uh, you know, most often when we think of a parade, we think of something that you stay in a stationary spot, say on the sidewalk, and watch the parade go by. This is a parade, we call it a second line parade, which is a term that comes from New Orleans. And a second line parade is a parade in which everyone participates and moves with the band. So everybody who comes to the aerial lift bridge on Sunday at 4, uh, will be invited to come with us or encouraged to come with us as we process down the lake walk with our puppet and mask characters. And not just with the puppets and masks, but a 12-piece brass band. I'm glad you mentioned that. Wow. The brass messengers are a brass band from Minneapolis, and uh, we, we're bringing them up here to be the musical accompaniment for the parade. And then they're also going to play at the Zeitgeist Arts Cafe where we're having a smelt fry that will start at 530. 
What a thing to pull together. Jim. Yeah, it should That's be a lot awesome. of fun. And really a cool thing to add to the, the variety of arts events that are happening. I think this is the, the most engaging. The stilt walkers are yours too, right? That's right. We have and stilt walkers as part of our, our new troop here. Yeah. Pretty yep. exciting. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for doing this in Duluth Great. and coming Thanks over to telling me, me yep. about it. Our pleasure. Very uh -huh. cool. We'll see Good. you on Sunday, I okay, hope. Okay, terrific. Okay. Yep. I want to remind you now to join in the Magic Smelt Parade meetup at the foot of the aerial lift bridge Sunday at 4. The route takes you along the lake walk to a smelt fry at the Zeitgeist Arts Cafe. And if you're lucky, you'll meet the smelt queen in person. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.